What's up guys, my name is Ace, and this is for all you Infinite Warfare players out there, or anybody that may even at some point go back and play Infinite Warfare. I highly encourage you guys to log on this weekend because they have a brand new variant for free. All you have to do is log on and collect it. This is an NV4 variant, and it is called the Honey Bee, which is short for the Honey Badger. So the Honey Badger from Call of Duty Ghosts is pretty much coming back, although they didn't actually take the skin from that. I think it would have been really cool if it actually looked like a Honey Badger from Call of Duty Ghosts. But either way, we've got a new NV4 variant. This one has an integrated suppressor as well as haste, which allows you to move 3% faster. This integrated suppressor is also not just a normal suppressor, it doesn't have the same damage reduction as a standard suppressor on the NV4. Now, I was going to do up a whole graphic for you guys based on the previous graphics I'd done with the NV4, but I'm in Norway right now and all my Infinite Warfare stuff is back home. I didn't think I'd be needing to cover like stats on an Infinite Warfare video. I did do the hand testing on this though, and it appears the reduction to your four shot kill range with that suppressor is only about 10%. And if I remember correctly, the standard suppressor reduces it by 25%. So this is much better than a standard NV4 with a suppressor, which is great. Unfortunately, you will be giving up what the other variants could be getting you in Infinite Warfare. So like the Fallout, for instance, you could drop the atomizers with. No de atomizer strike with this one. But you do get that free improved suppressor. And like I said, it's 100% free. You don't have to get lucky and get it out of a supply drop. You just log in and collect it. And with that, I just wanted to mention, I have had some people asking me, like, why aren't you covering the new variants that are coming to Infinite Warfare and stuff? Because there's been a bunch of new variants that have been added. And to be completely honest, I just don't have the extra time to be covering Infinite Warfare as well as COD World War II, and I'm really not that interested in it at this point as well. My main focus is on the current Call of Duty game. Even though I love Infinite Warfare and I would love to go back to it and play it more often, I just don't have the time to be doing that. So I'm not going to be doing any detailed statistic videos on Infinite Warfare. Having said that, I am kind of thinking maybe I'll do a throwback stream at some point in the not too distant future. Can't make any promises on that, but maybe you guys will see a throwback Infinite Warfare stream in the not so distant future. Let me know in the comment section below if that's something you'd be interested in. Make sure you guys log on this weekend to collect that for free. It is a limited time thing, so you got to do it this weekend. And that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this quick update, and I'll talk to you guys next time.